Hello everyone, let's talk about linters and fixers, or how to never worry about code formatting ever again. Okay, let me open a Python script. As you can see, this is horrendous. There are so many pep violations, and there are so many issues. So imagine fixing this code by hand, one by one. It will be just a nightmare. Okay, so let me save the file and see what happens. So everything is cleaned up. So let's talk about how to do that. So even if it's not that extreme, you may be always dealing with the problems with the typos, extra spaces, or pepe police. The coding style guidelines are really useful. They makes the code more readable, clean, easy to spot the problems. But the problem is it requires a lot of effort. Because we are human beings, we make mistakes, we introduce typos, we leave extra space here and there. So it's really hard to achieve really, really clean code. Of course, there are a lot of smart people and they have thought about it already. So we already have these tools called linters and fixers. And they are indispensable tool to help us spot the mistake right away and keep our code super clean and tidy. So what linters focus is static code analysis and spotting problems. And then they tell us what's wrong about the code or what can be potentially wrong about the code. So for this source code, let me quickly enable a linter. And it's called flake8. Okay, now we have so many appearing on the left side. And there are like uh, highlights of the variables. And whenever I move around, you can see at the bottom, there is a message telling me what's wrong with that line. So for instance, here, we have a bunch of trailing white space. And if you go here, and it said the sys module is shadowed by a loop variable. Or if I move here, this local variable is assigned, but never used. So it points out all kinds of issues in the code. So that's what linters do. So how about the fixers? So what fixers do is fixing the code. So if I enable black here and save the code, it fix many of the issues by reformatting the code. So that's the fixers. So as you can see, there are great tools to help you code better. And let's look at some of the nice linters. For instance, for Python, there are several linters. Some are more general and others are more specialized. For instance, the flake 8 that I'm using right now, it's a kind of general linter. It identifies potential problems and tell us about the pep guideline when we ignore them. But there are other types of linters too. For instance, there is something called PyDoc style. We only care about the documentation. For instance, it mentioned that uh, there is a missing doc string or there's a missing doc string in public function and things like that. And there is something called Bandit. And this linter checks all kinds of security flaws. So for instance here, oh, there is a possible hard-coded password, right? And there is a MyFi. And what it does is checking the types. There is another really powerful linter called PyLint. But because it tried to do so many things, it tends to be much slower than Flake 8. So for my purpose, Flake 8 seems to be the best. It's super fast. But based on your need, you may choose PyLint. So once you have this general main linter, you can pick and choose other linters too. And all these linters are usually just a Python package. And you can just simply install with the pip install Flake 8 or 
Conda install flake it like this. So once you install those linters, you can actually run it on command line like this. And it tells you which line and what kind of problems are there. And Plague 8 also allows some customization, which you can list in this config file. And you can specify things like max line length or errors and warning to ignore. And once you set it up, Plague 8 will ignore those errors and warnings. So how about the fixers? So the probably the most notable fixers in Python are black, yap, yet another Python fixer, and auto pepate. My recommendation is using black. The primary reason is that, as it says in the documentation, it's uncompromising code formatter. In other words, it doesn't give you many choices, and I think it's a good thing. The another one, uh, Yap, is developed by Google, but it has too many options for customization, and I prefer the simplicity of the black. And in terms of project popularity on GitHub, black is also the top, and it's widely used in many, many open source Python projects. So because it doesn't give you many choices, once your team agrees to use black altogether, then you can really, really automate code formatting. Because black produced the same deterministic and predictable output, you can just forget about it. And that's super nice. There is another simple fixer I use, which is called iSort. And what it does is just uh, clean up the import statement in Python. Okay, let me save this file and see what happens. Yeah, the import has been cleaned up. Like the linters, black can also be used in the command line. You can install black with conda install black or pip install black. And once you install it, you can run it. So if I give a Python script, it reformat and save the file. You can put diff option and it gives you the diff. For instance, I can revert this script to the previous state. And if I run black with diff option, then it shows how the code has been changed. So now we know the basics of Python linters and fixers. And now let's talk about how to automate them. As I mentioned, you can always run the linters on your Python script, and you can just go through each item and fix it. Or you can run black or other fixers on your script, and then it will fix it. But it's super tedious, right? So what you really want to do is setting up your text editor or IDE so that it keeps running the linters on the background and tell you what's wrong with the code and then also automate the fixers like for instance i set it up so that it automatically run black every time i save the file so let me show you my setup so i use neobeam and this is my beam setup so first of all i use beam plug for my plugin management system. If you haven't used any plugin management system, I highly recommend Beamplug. So once you have the Beamplug, you can install something called AL, which is short for Asynchronous Lint Engine. So as the name suggests, it leverages the recent addition of these asynchronous capabilities in NeoBeam and new versions of Beam to run linters on the background asynchronously. And once the linters get back to all the result, it display the result using the beam gutter and the status bar and highlights. So by using the AL linters option, you can set it up all the linters by language. 
So here I have just have a Python linters listed, but you can set up for other languages too, like JavaScript. And then you have option called AL fixers. And here again, you can set it up for different languages. And if you list certain fixers under the wildcard, it applied that to every types of file. And it has built-in fixers like remove trailing lines or trim white space, which are very useful. And finally, there is a really nice option called uh, fix on save. And if the option is turned on, it runs the fixers every time you save, which is super, super convenient. So once you have this setup, you are ready to go. Now Bim shows all the issues in your code. And if you save it, it'll fix many of them automatically. Okay, now what you do is fix the problems. So you can remove unnecessary import statements, add doc string, use some other variables. Although this was an example with Bim, any decent code editor should have the functionality to automatically run linters and fixers. And once you set them up, you'll never worry about pep police again. And many, many mistakes, typos will be spotted right after you type it. Because linters and fixers automate away some of the most boring and annoying part of the coding process. And because they help so much to make clean code, I think they are just indispensable tools that you want to spend some time to set it up properly. As I demonstrated here. So once you set them up, you can just forget about it. You can forget about all the code formatting typos and you can focus on what matters. If your editor doesn't allow automatic linting and fixing, find a better editor, set them up, and then enjoy coding more. Although here I only discuss Python and Bim, most powerful editors have this functionality. And most languages have their own linters and fixers. So research them, start using them, start automating them. Then your coding life will be much, much more pleasant. So I hope this video was helpful and hope that you can introduce more automation to your workflow so that you avoid doing all this tedious, annoying stuff. So thank you for watching. Happy coding.